Hey guys, talking about the rare Baldwin Camaro, but now let's look at one of the rarest, if not the rarest, 70 Chevelle. This is a 70s, the only example painted in cranberry red with red interior, four speed, three bilges, protecto plate. This is one of very few L78, 396, 375 horsepower Chevelle convertibles ever built. It's a factory code 75 cranberry red with black stripes. It is the only example painted with cranberry red and black stripes with a red interior. Rarer than the Chevelle LS6 convertibles. It's a documented, it was a frame off. This is not how it was found, but it's documented frame off. And this one is a 200 to a quarter million dollar car, but it is absolutely stunning. Um, and this is the original car. So if you say, hey, I've seen one before, no, you have not because this is the only one that was painted this way from the factory. So yeah, there might be people that have made them, but this is the only factory SS 1970, red, cranberry red, red, black stripes. Now here we have another 70 Chevelle right here. This is a 70 Chevelle LS6 pilot car, the earliest documented LS6 Chevelle known to exist. It has two build sheets. It's got all the paperwork. It's a pilot car. So it was built at the Kansas City plant on November 19th of 1969. It has had a comprehensive frame off restoration, but this is the earliest known of the 70 SS. Because it was actually built in 69. Black interior, gold exterior, cow induction. It's just a beautiful car. So. Matching numbers, just beautiful. Now we're looking at, here is a Hearst, a Hearst Shelby. <coughs> it's a GT350 made for Hearst for rental. You could have rented this. So this was made, they made 60 of these for Hertz. Uh, and you could have rented this car. You may have rented this car. Um, it's Wimbledon white, comprehensive nut and bolt restoration. They only had 60 of them. And then if you remember uh, in 2000, and I believe it was 2006, they came out with 50 of the Hearst, or Hertz rental car and the new Mustang with Shelby's. So these were Shelby's. Uh, the car was returned to Shelby America in Los Angeles. And then it was sold through Holiday Ford in Sunnyville, California. So this has a whole um, paperwork trail for it. And you could have rented this car. If you're about 15 years older than me, you were old enough to rent this car back then. So, um, and in fact, actually I was born in 66. So, and this was a rental car. So, hey, there might've been some of you that were conceived in this car, if you want to think about it, if you're my age. Uh, if your parents rented it and you were in Sunnyvale, California, who knows? Okay, beautiful car though. They're figuring this will be about quarter million to $300,000 for this one right here. So, just awesome. Here's another Shelby. And another Shelby right here, GT350. 65 GT350, one of 562 produced. Factory demonstrator when it was new. So this was one that Shelby used to demonstrate what a uh, Shelby was. So it's been Amelia Island and some of the other concourses. And then a 2011 GT500 Super Snake, only 4,600 miles on this car. Um, and it's got the Kenny Bell supercharger in it. Beautiful car. So let's go take a look at some other stuff that's here. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.